VW Super Beetle that I got for practically nothing and decided since I paid nothing almost nothing for it why not build a car that I could uh, run my skill set on so that's how it all started and one thing kind of led to it to the next so as you can see the car has been stripped and it's completely bare metal with a light oil protective coating I love to do metal work so all the little trinkets on the car the shifter the piston cup holder the steering wheel the a um, lot of tool oriented parts in here the armrest is made out of tools my uh, sun visors the brackets on the rear shelf the package shelf there's a wrench for a handle yeah, you have a lot of detail work. Yeah, so those are pallets. Oh my goodness. I did have to fabricate the frame for it out of uh, uh, tubing. Okay. And the rear shelf, if you look at it closely, the wood has a different look to it. My mm -hmm. fence blew down in the hurricane, Irma, <laughs> and I repurposed the fence. Incredible. Yeah, so when you're, when you're retired, you know, <laughs> you got time on your hands to goof around and <laughs> and do uh, interesting and fun things. And the good thing about this car is because it's not a collectible or number matching car that no matter what I do it's it's you know it suits my taste and yeah. preference so that's how the whole project kind of rolls along and anytime I feel like doing something I'll come up with the idea of putting a steering wheel together like that. So that is actually the factory steering wheel but all the plastic and the coating on it was all deteriorated so once I stripped it down I said okay I kind of like the look of the metal wheel but it felt a little thin so I said what are other guys doing with it mostly everybody puts the chain on the outside of it instead of the inside and they use a larger chain and again with my bicycle background I said okay I'm gonna go with a smaller chain and this is the million dollar question what is this part here yes what is it <laughs> <laughs> our microwave blew up and that's the microwave component out of it Unbelievable. <laughs> and it's just sticking on there with a magnet <laughs> ah okay <laughs> that is yeah so something else and then you have wood at the on the dashboard again yeah a little see. bit of wood okay. over there and then mm -hmm. I made my cup holder I mean my flower vase up there yes okay the, I'm just using it today uh-huh yeah. and then your stick shift is very interesting those are two wrenches joined two together <laughs> and then the center console box is an ammo box uh -huh. um, that I just propped up with some washers okay and then, so people don't ask what kind of car it is I made this script up here okay, so that they uh, <laughs> they don't have to ask me what kind of car it is <laughs> or what model it is <laughs> so I decided to go for the opposite look of what most people are doing most Volkswagen owners lower their car and I said I'm gonna make mine look like a replica of an off-road uh, class 11 car so that's what it's mimicking okay. not that it's off-road capable but it looks like it is right yeah so that's the look I went for and I, I like it and it's a work in progress when you found this car what shape was it in or what color was it it was a red oxide primer and it pretty much was as you see it but it was not running it was a roller okay. is what we call it mm -hmm. so I knew it had potential to be brought back to life it just it took me a little while to do it <laughs> and did you find this car in California no this car came from the Comus oh, okay. mm -hmm. yeah right. yeah and what year is it a 1974. 1974 yeah well thank you very much no for thank you information yeah thank <laughs> it was you. great thank you